what's going on YouTube so I'm back at it again trying to clean up whatever mess I have that I keep getting myself into uh, right now I'm working on this access L U L A L U which I guess stands for aluminum not really sure never heard of an access brand to be honest with you picked her up at the Swami for dirt cheap I picked her for like 30 bucks complete the way it sits and the only reason I picked her up is because she's very light and she's very small. So for a small rider or a kid rider or a girl rider, this bike is actually like, it's it's crazy how light this bike is. Um, and let's just do a quick run through it. Start, you know, obviously we start at the cranks. It's got some aluminum pedals. Can't see, kind of blurring off there. But Shimano STX and the Levio front derailleur. Obviously your no-name chain. I like this little, I think this was added on, the little chain guard. You can tell because the cut's not as clean as it should be. Uh, no-name Shimano. You know, uh, let's see. Access hose. Cable needs to be redone. This is what caught my eye. Shimano XTR. See if it focuses on that really cool. There you go. XTR calipers or brake levers, whatever you want to call it. They look really, really cool. Going to a 26 inch rim. Legs to some Parallax. Looks like it. Uh, this is what I thought was cool. It doesn't have a quick release. It has like this little Allen bolt key. Front and back, which is really cool. Actually, I thought that was just like, that's kind of cool, you know. It's, they're kind of quick release, but not really. It's got your access for disc brakes if you want to run them. Which again, thought was really cool. And all in all, you know, never heard of the brand, but the quality you could tell was there. Bond Traeger, no name seat. Regular laid back seat post. Has a little dip right here. Give you a little bit more of a, of a stretch on it. No name seat clamp. Uh, it's like the STX follows on the head clamp. With a Union something. Never heard of that brand, but looks kind of fancy. Diora XT Diora XT right there look at it. so once again it's the the quality of the parts is what attracted me to it um, the front brakes are not the same as the back probably were replaced these look like just some non generic brake ones uh, there's a there's that brand again laced to the same wheel wrapped with 26.125 inch performance Performance. So I did do some research on the brand. Turns out it was made by Fuji, and as you know, Fuji had a performance bike shop, and that's probably where it came from. Uh, all in all, just a decent bike. It's gonna work for what you want it for. You're short, or you know, probably under five five. This bike is probably perfect for you. Uh, I'm gonna keep the bars because I just really like the bars. So I'm taking out the bars. Gonna put some flat bars, and then. She's done. She's ready to sell. I actually have a buyer for it, so hopefully everything goes through. Alright guys, so uh, once again, this was a quick build because I already have someone looking for this particular bike. So I just made it more, you know, appealing. I put the, the high risers because the other cruiser bars I kind of wanted to keep for myself for a future build, probably for my commuter. Kept everything that was the RXT just to give it, you know, that matching theme. Uh, I might take off these quick release just because I like them so much. I'm kind of iffy on that. Depends on the price we agree on. So I bought this bike for 30 bucks. Swapped the, the handlebars, which was a come up on my end. And that, that's where she's going to, I don't know, probably I get probably double my money. I'm going to shoot for a little bit more and then see if we can settle around 60 to 80 bucks. All right, guys. Your Soul Cycles out.